Hey Virgo, welcome to Tarot to Tarot. I'm EJ. I hope everybody's having a good week, a good start to their Christmas holiday if you're here in the Americas, uh, and a good end to your year everywhere else. I got a new deck of cards. I'm excited. I love them. I love them. This is Simply Deep Tarot by Chanel Bayless, and the artwork is by James Battersby. I love it. I love it. The first card that jumped out at me was the Fool's card. So, uh, comedy. 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 Definitely comedy. Um, I'm going to clarify with the regular uh, Radiant Rider weight if I need to. I shuffled those already for Virgo. So, this is going to be a general read for mid-month December 2018 for Virgo. And let me pull out just a reminder. I read my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. Please like, share, and subscribe if this reading is resonating with you. And leave me a comment below. Ooh, so your first card is the Five of Wands. Your second card is the Six of Wands. Third card is the Four of Cups. Fourth card is the Six of Cups. Fifth card, King of Cups, and your overall energy from the bottom. Ace of Cups. Oh, y'all cupped out. All right, Virgo, let's see what we got going on here. So it looks like a lot of Virgos have had a lot of confusion, a lot of conflict um, between work and home and uh, romantic partner, and you, your energy has been just been scattered all over the place and so now you're trying to maybe take a step back um, with the six of wands all of the professional work it seems like yeah all of, all of your professional work spirit is saying um, you should be feeling a sense of accomplishment um, you should if there's any recognition to come Virgo, you should go ahead and accept it. Don't go hiding in, in the closet somewhere and acting like you don't know what happened. If somebody is trying to give you an award um, or even a bonus, accept it graciously because uh, it looks like you worked very hard for it. Um, looks like some of you may be kind of getting daydreamy-ish about somebody that you're not actually in a relationship with. Um, yeah. Spirit is saying some of you, this may not resonate with all of you, but some of you Virgos are kind of looking outside the gate to see what's out there, whether or not you're bored with your current relationship or if it's just not providing the excitement that you want or... If you're just sick of the person you're with, you kind of looking. Um, but Spirit is telling me to tell you, you know, just because it looks good don't mean it is good. Uh, you don't want to get jammed up in some kind of uh, situation, particularly with your fourth card being someone coming back from your past. That's the Six of Cups. So you can kind of see the two cups. And it's the holiday, so naturally a lot of people, um, if you celebrate here in America, Christmas time, New Year's, New Year's Eve, you, you come in contact with people. If you go back home somewhere, you come, you come in contact with people that you haven't seen in a long time, maybe old boyfriends or old girlfriends. Um, but just remember, especially, and the Spirit is telling me to say this, if you're leaving your spouse at home this holiday season and you're traveling alone, just make sure, you know, you don't get all tripped out and sitting in the middle of the cup. Like, oh, it's so beautiful over here. I want to be here. It's so beautiful. I don't like it at home anymore. I want to be here. Don't, don't, yeah. <laughs> don't fall for that. Um, your overall energy is about gratitude, the Ace of Cups and, and compassion. And that should, that should be the feeling that you have and have the 
compassion for your current partner if this is about you maybe looking outside the gate you know if you're bored you know are you contributing anything to the relationship or you know are you expecting your partner to entertain you 24 hours a day just look at little things you know and it's not to say that you if you are tired of a relationship you shouldn't get out certainly um if it's not meeting your needs you shouldn't be there but just kind of step back and do a little reflection um, and, and keep your overall energy about peace. Just be peaceful. Whatever you're doing, just be peaceful about it. Um, that will allow you to see a lot of things going on in your life that you may not ordinarily see because you, if you're uh, distracted or worried about something, to get just kind of in a state of peace for a minute and just look at everything that's going on that might give you some clarity on some things that are giving you difficulty. Again, if this is someone coming back to you from the past, don't get all dreamy-eyed and just gaga goo goo over somebody. You know, think about what you have at home because damn sure the grass is not always greener on the other side. Um, if you get into the beginning of the year, there may be some people that need your support. Do what you can. Um, don't go way out of your way, but um, this King of Cups is kind of speaking to me. And just, if you can help, help. And if you want to help, help. But the, some people are going to ask you for your support. It may be somebody running for office or trying to bid for a different job, whatever it is, if you can offer support, it's okay to do it. You may be hesitant, but it really is okay to do it. But don't go beyond what's being asked of you. Well, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week, a great weekend. If you're in Americans, I hope you have a good holiday and everybody have a happy new year. I will certainly see you before the new year. Hope this helps and I will see you soon. Talk to you later.